Hi, my name is Janelle McClarty, the owner of EncoreWebsites.com. And in the last video, I showed you how to navigate around the WordPress dashboard. And in this video, we're going to finally get started on setting up your pages on your website. So that's going to be the home, about, services, contact, and all that. So just the main pages you need to get started, and you'll get the flow of things so that you can create a full website for your business or just for personal use. So let's get started. All right, so let's get in and actually start setting up your pages. So we're going to head over to the pages section. And I like to start from the top and work my way to the details. So start my way from the generals. So figure out what pages do you need for your website? And every website needs a home page, right? So let's start with the home page. So we're going to go into the home page by clicking edit. When you hover over it, you'll see edit. Now we're going to see the builder for your home page. So it's going to look different for everybody. Um, Let's launch the builder so we can see what's going on on the home page. So this is it. I'm gonna dismiss this. Okay, so this is the home page. Let's say I want to make some edits to the text and all that stuff. Let's see. Okay, we're going to try using the standard editor. Okay. All right. So this is how the text looks in the home area. So we have the pictures, we have the links, we have the products and service area. So this is like a main area. We can literally edit directly on this page. So let's say product or service number one, instead of saying that, I want to just put, oops. I'm going to type in website designer right here. Okay. And then Let's say area number two, I'm going to put consultant. That's the consultant. Okay. Area number three, let's say I don't need this area. I can just delete it. So remove it. I don't need that either remove and then you know go on and you can edit your image right here so press edit and then we're gonna upload one from either the computer the library that we have remember the media library I showed you or insert it from a URL so let's use the media library let's use this picture right here select it there we go and next steps, like we can, you can put whatever content you want, but I'll show you how this works. So this is like a click, like a link. Um, it's a clickable link area. So the way they did that is to highlight the text you want to be clickable. It's a call to action. So let's highlight that, press that link area, and then put where you want it to link to and then press enter. And now it's a clickable link. All right, so I recommend when you're editing any of your pages, like the content and the images, I recommend you to create 
let's say like a Google document or a file folder and actually write out all your content that you want on each page and then just copy and paste it in and find all the images you want that are associated with the content and put it in as well. Like upload it to the media area and then, you know, press on it, edit it and input, right? If you want to, let's say, add additional sections or blocks as they're called here, you would just press these little plus areas to where you want to add it. So you could, let's say, add a block here. Do you want it to be a paragraph? Do you want it to be an image? Do you want it to be a gallery, a form, a quote? Let's add a quote. Work hard, play harder. Okay. Uh, <laughs> just going to put that and then we're going to update it. And now the quote's added. We can move it down to like the bottom if we want to. Let's put it right there. So yeah, you just gotta play around and make it the way you want, add the images where you want, the types of Im images you want, and the content that you want. So I just pressed update. Let's preview how this page looks by pressing preview. This is our home page. So this picture area, this is not in that home page area. This is in the slider section to edit this. But here's our quote work hard, play harder. Here's the picture. I put website designer here. Here's another picture. I put consultant here. I deleted that area with the third service area. And I added this image myself as well. And then I added the call to action. Remember this one? And it's linked to Encore websites when you click on it. So So that call to action works. So um, let's go back into the pages again, like look at the other pages. So there's about services, all that. So we did a little edits to the home page. Let's look at the about us page. We're gonna edit that. We're gonna use the standard editor. So depending on the type of editor you're using, it's going to look a little bit different, but it's the same idea. So this is the About Us page. If you wanted to add, let's say you don't like this About Us page at all, and you want to edit the whole thing, just add a new page right there. Let's leave. Okay. I'm going to add the title of this page. about Janelle McClarty. And then I can add some sample text. My name is and I can add images. So as I said before, you're gonna have to press that plus button to add a block. And let's say I'm gonna add an image of myself. Let's upload it from my desktop. I have an image right here. There we go. I can write a caption if I want to. I just moved it over a little bit. Make it a little smaller so it's not so big. <laughs> um, center it back again. That's pretty cool. And I can make more text here. Enjoy that a little bit. All right, so I could just make it a very simple About Us page and make, as I said before, it's easier if you have the content already 
um, established or written out and planned so that when you're going in to do these pages, it's just a simple copy and paste and it takes you a lot faster to do. So I showed you how to, let's save this. I'm gonna press publish to save. And then I'm gonna press a few page so you can see it. And look at that. We have that, we have that. And this area we could take it out if we want to. It's just a widget area, another widget area like we saw down here. Um, yeah, so as I was saying before, uh, I showed you how to navigate around the dashboard. I showed you how to go into the actual pages and edit them. Um, how to add new pages as well. So that is it when it comes to creating a WordPress website. And um, yeah, basically I showed you how to navigate through this page area and make edits, make changes. You can add new pages if you want to and using your page builder, you can make edits to that page and add images, content, all that stuff. So yeah, that's how you basically get into the back and do this area. It just really depends on how many pages um, you want, the type of industry you're in. So this video is gonna vary for a lot of people, but this is just the general way of how to do that. All right. just finished up this video series on how to create a WordPress website. This was video 5 and the final video showing you how to set up your pages. I hope you got all your pages set up and understood everything but if not feel free as I said to click the link down below so that you can set up a session for us to just do things one on one. You can ask me any questions you understood everything and learned a lot from this video series. I'm going to have tons more videos on Shopify, on 
Wix, other platforms that you can use, so look out for that. And um, yeah, this was pretty fun. So I hope, as I said, you learned a lot today. And uh, yeah, message me, send me an email if you have any questions. And if you have any suggestions on any other platforms you want to learn. So thank you so much for watching and enjoy your website.